Hey folks, it's Andrew Brown, and we're talking about CompTIA Cloud Plus certification. This is a spin-off conversation from a comment from the last video. In the last video, I was talking about the technique I, I use to learn multi-cloud called stacking, where I will learn a, um, a concept like virtual machines and then apply that knowledge immediately to multiple providers to figure out what is useful to know and what's not useful to know. Uh, so you don't get into the weeds and you focus on things that actually are going to matter. Um, and we had a comment on that video by Geo Maverick 124. I thought it was a great, great um, uh, a question. And it was, isn't the CompTIA Cloud Plus multi-cloud cert, uh, it, it, like saying, is it a, isn't it a multi-cloud certification since it's vendor neutral? And, you know, I would say that it is a cloud certification. Uh, it covers foundational knowledge of cloud. Um, and you can use that on any major cloud provider. I would not describe it as multi-cloud because be, being neutral, it doesn't teach you anything about AWS, Azure, GCP. It teaches you nothing about cloud native. It does not teach you about uh, the VMware ecosystem. Um, it, it just does not really uh, uh, tell you much. Um, and you know, this is my gripes with this certification is that, um, you know, it, again, it is foundational. And I think the outline is good as a, as kind of a, um, uh, a jumping board for you to go and uh, investigate uh, the landscape of, of foundational cloud concepts, but the exam itself, what they're testing you on and what they're expecting you to learn uh, is not really gonna set you up for success. Uh, I see these uh, CompTIA certifications uh, are primarily designed uh, to work for very specific organizations that have partnered with CompTIA for a very long time as their, as their uh, uh, base requirement to get a job uh, at these, these organizations. And some of these are government organizations or uh, organizations that are under high regulation. And so there's stuff that is in these exam guides that are more uh, catered towards them that you may not need to know, or, you know, it's, you know, every, knowledge is knowledge, it's great, but I would say that, um, you know, I, I think you could uh, do without that stuff and put in practical uh, conceptual knowledge, uh, and I think that would be a lot more valuable. But let's go hop over to the CompTIA website and just see what I'm talking about, okay? All right, folks, we're over here on the CompTIA Cloud Plus uh, uh, website, and so CompTIA is known for a lot of certifications, A+, Cloud+, Plus, uh, Security+, Plus, Linux+, Plus, Network+, Plus. Plus, 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 plus all over the places. And you know, some certifications are better than others. I think the A plus certification is a great certification. If you're getting into IT and you need to under, uh, show proof that you understand how all the components work of a computer, uh, that makes sense. My family business was repairing uh, computers, both hardware and software. Uh, and I understood the value of A plus certification. This is back in the late nineties. So CompTIA has been around for a very long time. Um, Security Plus is, I think, a okay certification as well. Uh, my security friends might argue with me saying they don't like it, um, but you know, it just depends on who you're talking to. I know more about cloud than security. Um, so you know, my opinions is all about cloud and that's what we're talking about here today. And so um, you know, just to kind of give a lens to CompTIA, look at the organizations that work with it. Oracle, NTT Communications, uh, Government of Defense, uh, large, large organizations, organizations with um, uh, 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 regulation and stuff like that. And so, you know, I just think that the, the type of information that they want to have uh, preloaded in their, in their, um, uh, into their employees is different and their ex expectations of, of um, what they already know is a different story, right? So uh, I want a multi-cloud certification that actually says, I know how to work with multiple cloud providers like AWS, Azure, GCP, uh, you know, it's okay if you know, like this exam will prepare you to say like, I know what block storage is. That's great. Do you have any experience working with block storage? And that's where uh, I think I run into an issue. And I said earlier, it doesn't have cloud native at all. That's a huge component of, of uh, the cloud landscape. Um, but anyway, if you go down here, you can fill in whatever you want. I'm just gonna refresh here for a moment, but um, if you want to get the exam guide and the practice exams, over here on the right-hand side, you can fill in whatever you want. Don't give them your details, you don't need to. And as soon as you submit that, uh, you'll get links to the exam. There's 003 and 002, 003 is the new one. And so here I have the exam guide open and we have some practice exams. And 
you know, I just want to say, like, I like the the breakdown of the um, the uh, the domains. I like, for the most part, the breakdown of this uh, exam guide uh, because I think it's a great um, uh, 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 jumping point for you to go investigate and understand all these things. But in terms of uh, knowledge gained um, or spending too much time in the weeds on the wrong stuff is my issue with the certification that it's training you on. So I, by no means do I think this exam is hard. I do think it's just a lot of information, textbook information that is not useful to retain. Um, there is a, an easier certification called uh, Cloud Essentials, and that one is not very good either. Um, will I produce certification courses on this stuff? Probably, because people want to buy it, and some people are required to get it because, as you saw here, there are organizations that require it, right? There are some organizations that require it, and so that would be the motivation. That's why this is priced so high, because they know people have to pay for it if they want to work for specific organizations. But, um, you know, coming down here, uh, you know, we have... Uh, you know, the basic cloud concepts. What I like is they list more than just the three. So they list community, cloud within a cloud, multi-cloud, multi-tenancy, uh, you know, these are kind of subjective, you know, you don't really hear these other places, these models, but uh, you know, I like that they're trying here a bit more. This is the common stuff, um, share responsibility model, but we talk about share responsibility model. They'll give you a vendor neutral model, but each, but the shared responsibility model is actually different for every provider. And so, um, I remember I did this for something. Um, I think for my last uh, uh, cloud, I mean, it was maybe the cloud practitioner. I I went in and I created like three or four variations of the shared responsibility model because once I had gone across the cloud and saw their models, they're all different. They're same, they're similar, but they were different. And so I had to show that model like three, four times over to give it uh, give it a different perspective from different angles. Uh, so that you could fully contextualize and understand that uh, that concept. And this isn't going to do that. <laughs> They're going to give you some, uh, you know, one that is like uh, normalized between all of them. And, you know, that's not going to give you enough information to be effective uh, in your role. You'll understand what a shared responsibility model is, but not, not to the point that you need to know it. Um, we have other stuff here. So, um, uh, you know, like, they, they really help you to try to plan and understand all the, the components when trying to uh, uh, project costs and things like that. Um, uh, you know, they talk about hypervisors. They talk about, um, uh, you know, scaling, scaling stuff. It's just like, it's just stuff. It, it's all great stuff to know. You should know all these things here uh, for the most part. But again, it's like, it's not going to prove that you know how to launch a virtual machine. Like we, in the last video we went through and we launched or we were going to launch a virtual machine in four or five different providers. And we started to understand based on the differences, uh, you know, how these providers kind of think about uh, their, I mean, I was trying to extrapolate, but like just, just the kind of personality behind the, each of these providers, uh, the pitfalls under each of these providers, uh, uh, the biases of these providers, like, uh, Microsoft prefers Windows, Amazon prefers Linux, and GCP prefers to give you a, a more concise list of things that they've curated for you that they want you to use. So fewer options, but better better product. And you're not going to get that in here, right? Or, or, you know, like, why do people want to use Cloud Native? That's not in here either. So I'm not saying that this is bad, but I'm saying at a price point of $358, uh, and uh, to try to help advance your career, it does not make sense. And, you know, I don't think something's multi-cloud unless it literally teaches you multiple clouds, right? Not a concept that can be applied to multiple clouds, but actually teaches you how to use multiple clouds. Because that is what uh, resumes are asking uh, from you is like, can you use AWS and Azure? You know, <laughs> not, not like, do you, do you know the concept of, of block storage? Oh, yeah, I've heard of block storage. So therefore, I should be able to do it because we find out people start using these things. And they're, they can't do it at all because they don't have any hands-on. Uh, and so coming over to the Prax exam questions, you know, it's a $358 in Canadian dollars, it's like $400 or more to do multiple choice about, you know, situations. And a lot of these questions here are, are administrative based, right? It's not even like, you know, like which provider, like if you say like which cloud service provider 
um, uses the concept of resource groups to manage the resources. You know, that'd be Azure, right? They're not going to ask you that, you know, because they want to have it cloud neutral. Don't mention any, any specific cloud providers. So it's evergreen. It will last for a longer uh, a point in time, but the information is not as, as valuable. So, uh, you know, hopefully that gives you kind of an idea. You go explore for yourself. You draw your own conclusions, but that's my opinion about uh, CompTIA uh, Cloud Plus certification, okay?